what's up fellas um it's gonna be a bit like background noisy tonight because i've got a couple fans on because oh my god is it hot like oh cannot deal at the moment i might go grab my water back there just give me it give me a second it's in the uh the incredible new um max and harvey bowl honestly summer this is a lifesaver and even in winter it'll probably be a lifesaver as well because it'll keep stuff hot but for now keeping stuff cold like it's incredible i need to refill it at some point i might have to do that during the live but yeah um it's a it's a vibe it's like it's almost midnight we vibing my phone's half charged as always um through singing some songs maybe I'll do some questions as well depending on how awake and, and, and how good my attention span is at the moment but yeah um, just just for you guys to know ahead um, there's this um, there's this new thing coming out no one knows about but when it does come out I'm not even going to reference where it's going to be or what it's going to be because that would be against the contract. But no, there's no contract. But basically, I, I, I recorded a cover for this thing. Uh, and we're going to post it. Um, well, yeah, I'm going to post it. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. It might be in drafts tomorrow. But like, they'll start getting posted in the next few days. A bunch of videos that we've been filming. Um, on this cool new thing that we've thankfully been given early access to. So yeah, look out for that stuff. Um, but this is, uh, does, does anyone know the song July by, um, Noah Cyrus? Uh, it's, yeah, stuff like that. Someone tell me to leave, I'll pack my bags, get on the road. Find someone who loves you better than I do, darling, I ain't know. Cause you remind me every day, I'm not in love, but I still stay. If you want me to leave, then baby I'll leave, and baby I'll go. Yeah, so I bet I honestly, but it was so hot up here today. I was trying to do that. Oh, it was painful. It was really, really hard to do. Um, but I think I got a version that I liked. And then there was there was so many things that went wrong. My mum called me halfway through one of them. I literally, that was the take I was going to use. I was like, at the end, I was like, oh my God, this is going to be it. Like in my head as I was singing it, bam, mum calls me. I'm like, oh, no. And then halfway through another one, I'm scared of saying it. Siri, didn't say hey before it, popped up. While I was like in the middle of another good take, I lost my mind. I absolutely lost it. I was just so angry. But yeah, it's such a good song. Such a good song. I only I don't know how new it is actually, but um, I listened to it the other day and went, I should probably cover this. Um, I don't really know much of the rest of the song to be fair, but I just learned this bit so I could do a short cover of it. Uh, but yeah, again, again, I'll just start with this, and then if you guys can comment a load of songs. Um, that'd be swell and I'll just start singing them for a bit and all that but yeah so tell me to leave I'll pack my bags get on the road find someone that loves you better than I do darling I know cause you remind me every day I'm not enough but I still stay if you want me to leave, then tell me to leave And maybe I'll go And then, what songs have we got? Oh, I haven't sung that one I feel this life like a swinging vine Swing my heart across the line Flashing signs, see it out and ye shall find old But I'm not that old, young, but I'm not that bold I don't think the world is sold, just doing what we're told I feel something so right, doing the wrong thing I feel something so wrong, doing the right thing I could not, I could not Should be, and baby, I've been, I've been praying hard. 
counting dollars, we'll be counting stars It's just so hard to say goodbye when you're so beautiful I know the way I need to end this tragic musical I la 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 I goodbye I la 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 I goodbye forever I like me better when I'm with you I like me better when I'm with you from the first time, I stay for a long time Cause I like me better when, I like me better when I'm with you story goes that's so annoying story there oh yeah some mistakes get made that's all right that's okay you might you may think that you're in love but you're really just something so <laughs> mistake is all right it's okay yeah, for me that's the moral of the story babe that's all right that's okay Crashing in a blazing fire 
All you ever did was wreck me Yeah, you, you wreck me Yeah, you, you wreck me Yeah, you, you wreck me Yeah We keep this love in a phonograph We make these memories for ourselves Where our eyes are never closing Hearts are never broken And time's forever frozen still So you can keep me Inside the pocket of your ripped jeans Oh, oh no, I've ruined that Holding me closer till our eyes meet You won't ever be alone And if you hurt me That's okay, baby, only you Inside these pages you just told me And I won't ever let you go Wait for me to come on I'm gonna blame all of my mistakes on the heat tonight It just seems to be more than usual um, But yeah, I apologise everyone um, It's been a bit mental with this heat at the moment But I can tell you that we um, filmed the Q&A today that I asked for questions for um, and it will probably be posted within the next three weeks because we have videos basically stocked up for you guys there's, there's quite a few cool videos that will be coming out on YouTube so make sure you go subscribe to that get involved with all that tell everyone you know about the YouTube coming back um, yeah it should be really fun and I really want you guys to spread the message go, go tell everyone go tell everyone YouTube is coming back. Um, what other songs have we got? Cause you only need the light when it's burning low. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. Only know you've been high when you're feeling low. Only hate the road when you're missing home. Only know you love her when you let her go And you let her go And you let her go So 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 you let her go Let's focus on communicating Cause I just need the time and place to come through So send me your location Let's write the vibrations I just need nothing else but you Cause you're so good at making me feel bad And making me feel terrible about myself Good, and you're so good at making love a with only your jewels, with only but your words, and I feel bad. I feel bad, and I feel good. Making me feel bad, making me feel terrible about myself. Good. That's a banging song, by the way. If you haven't listened to it, it's Black Bears. You miss something. Sing it for me, I don't know. And if the world was ending, you come over, right? You come over and you'd stay the night. Would you love me for the hell of it? All our fears would be irrelevant. And if the world was ending, you come over, right? 
It's gotta be fun and then I'd hold you tight And there wouldn't be a reason why You would even have to say goodbye And if the world was ending you'd come over right Right And if the world was ending you'd come over right Right Cause you and me go through it like the others And the high still feel the same And we still get drunk off our champagne Cause we turn winters into summers And feel one ain't living by the numbers Cause you and me go through it like the others And the high still feel the same And we still get drunk off our champagne Type of love don't always come and go. I don't wanna ruin this one. This type of love don't always come and go. I don't wanna ruin this one. This type of love don't always come and go. I don't wanna ruin this one. This type of love don't always come and go. It's just the price I pay, destiny is calling me Open up my eager eyes Cause I'm Mr. Brightside Beautiful big ball, drop top designer clothes Front row and fashion shows Oh no <laughs> I'm gonna get rinsed for not knowing the old songs. Only shooting stars break the mold. Oh yeah, don't say you needed me. You looked up and took a part of me. I always knew that you were bad for me. But I fell for you so easily. Now you need me. Don't say you needed me. You messed up and took a part of me. I 
I'm not gonna lie, I mainly know the chorus at the moment, but I'm getting to the whole song, I added it to my playlist, I'll do the chorus again. Don't say you needed me, yeah. You messed up and took a part of me. I always knew that you were bad for me, but I felt for you so easily. Now you need me, don't say you need me, yeah. You messed up and took a part of me. I always knew that you were different stuff I know hardly any of these songs I'm just gonna have to yeah okay and Sink the words wrong. Dream is 
not my love She just a girl There's something that I never want to lose, lose Okay, pretty young thing, repeat that to me Say na na na, na na na, na 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 na, na 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 Say na na na, hey Na 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 na, na 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 Trying to figure it out But I'm stuck in a drought I guess I'll start again I've been losing my mind Trying to figure it out But I'm stuck in this house I am my only friend Over and over again It's like I never win Why you putting me down? It don't make any sense I'm not sober again But I'm trying to pretend Like everything's alright But it's over with All the other kids With the pumped up kicks You better run, better run I'll run my gun All the other kids with the pumped up kicks You better run, better run Faster than my bullet All the other kids with the pumped up kicks You better run, better run I'll run my gun All the other kids with the pumped up kicks You better run, better run Faster than my bullet, yeah Fall in love, I would already have you up under my arm I used to follow my tricks, I hope that you like this But you probably won't, you think you're cooler than me You got designer shades just to hide your face And you wear around like you're cooler than me And you never say hey or remember my name And it's probably cause you think you're cooler than me da -da -da. Design the shades just to hide your face And you wear them around like you're cool with me Sound Good run in there And uh, I just, I don't know if he's still here But hi Jack He was here earlier and I did sing his song um, Stream bad for me and all that It's an absolute tune And it needs to go viral It's obviously still got time because it's such a new release I think he released it two months ago maybe Maybe one month ago it's quite new. So if you haven't listened to it yet, do it. And then once you've listened to that a fair few times, hopefully me and Harvey will have released some stuff for you to, to gaze upon as well. But that's in the future. Um, let's look at some questions. Um, what's the best interview you've done? Do you know what? And this was this was purely based on like pure talent on the other end i don't remember i don't know if you guys remember the um i'm pretty sure it was tiger beat interview we did like a live stream um and the woman that interviewed us on on that tiger beat interview she was incredible like she probably the best interviewer i have ever been interviewed by she's just like so talented always sort of like filled the gaps if there was anything to talk, if there if there was like a silence, she was so good. Um, yeah, like really properly talented. Um, so that's probably like the most enjoyable interview because I felt so relaxed. Um, ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Favorite TikTok you filmed? 
do you know what? I'm going to go for like, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Favorite underrated TikTok I filmed is the one where I absolutely destroyed my insides by jumping over my bed. You know that? Um, <sighs> yellow tape around his body, it's a fucking homicide. That, honestly, can't tell you how much that hurt. That was probably the most dedication I've put towards a TikTok, as in my insides wise. Um, I basically died for a couple seconds. Um, but yeah, it just, it, it didn't um, blow up like I'd have hoped it to. It kind of flopped, really. But what can you do, hey? TikTok's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful platform that you just never know whether your hard-worked content is going to pay off. Um, oh, favorite fast food. I feel like I've answered this before, but like all-time favorite is Panda Express. I cannot tell you how much I miss Panda Express. And I was so annoyed because Anti-Social Club, and I, I did find, I got an email from them the other day. So I, I remember I was ranting to you guys before about my Anti-Social Club hoodie. I got an email from them the other day saying, oh yeah, sorry, we uh, like mixed up the uh, posting. Confirm this is your address, we'll send it. So hopefully, hopefully it's coming the hoodie. I really hope. And then also Antisocial Club did this really cool Panda Express collab. I didn't manage to get anything from it. I wasn't really going for it because I'm still sort of hung up on the other hoodie and I didn't get the email by that point. If I'd have had the email from Antisocial Club that they were going to send it, I would have been like, I'm getting that Panda Express thing. So if anyone knows where I can get any of those clothes, that would be great to tell me because I need, I need the hat. The Panda Express Antisocial Club hat, I, I need it desperately it's it, it, like yeah I, mi I miss it so much honestly if any of you guys that aren't from america go to america panda express is the one honestly it's so good um obviously unless you're vegan then it's not the one well no there is vegan options i'm pretty sure maybe not vegan vegetarian um do 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 this could be an interesting idea for a video and this is the kind of thing we're talking about now we sort of want like ideas from you guys on what you want to see what's not horrendous to film basically because we were so lucky this week that we had actually quite a bit of time spare um but then again obviously we turned that into no time spare because on Monday we were filming a YouTube video. Tuesday we were filming Hey Tracy. I'm um, telling you guys this now. Someone did figure it out and I was very impressed that we were filming Hey Tracy. Um, I'm going to put it out there now. Do not watch the show unless you're over 15. Just don't do it. I, I want to... Hands up. It's not for you. It's not for anyone. Yeah. Me and Harvey didn't say or do anything bad, but like, it's just, it's so, it's insane. It's insane. It's such a great show though. I, I genuinely probably one of the most fun things I filmed, but no. But yeah, I, I think a carpool karaoke will be really good. I should start writing this stuff down, but yeah, um, any stuff you guys want to see, uh, but yeah, and I mean, we filmed a YouTube video today. We filmed the YouTube video on Wednesday today's is today friday what do we do on thursday what did i do yesterday what did i do yesterday huh i can't remember what did i do wait that was it. Some other secret filming that I'm not allowed to tell you guys about. Yep. Okay. Well, I know today is Saturday, guys. All right. Chill out. Jesus. But yeah, there's cool science coming soon. That'll be... So I think what's going to happen, just so you guys know, because I know it'll be quite frustrating. Obviously, we filmed so much content this week. I think we're planning on sort of posting a YouTube video a week. Um, so it's not going to be loads of YouTube videos in one go, because obviously that's a nightmare. Um, so yeah, hopefully we're going to aim for one a week, um, and there's going to be a lot of filming in advance, so I'm sorry in advance, but you're going to unfortunately have to wait, 
YouTube's hard, man. No, no one says this enough. It's hard. YouTube is freaking hard. Um, but yeah, so we've got one video literally ready to go. Uh, so make sure you guys get subscribed, turn your notifications on. It's like when I say soon in the next day or two, it's coming out. Um, and it's like a proper YouTube video. Obviously, we started off with the driving thing, but that was more of a like Tom. Tom did like a cinematic vlog, really cool, but obviously not what normally goes on our YouTube channel. So this is like a challenge. Oh my god, Egg Olympics kind of stuff. Um, but it's not Egg Olympics. Don't worry. We might do a two <laughs> of Egg Olympics, but that's that's for another time. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so we're gonna aim for one a week. And um, not sure what day yet. I don't know if we're going to confirm a day because confirming a day is hard for us just in case we don't have something ready and we don't want to let you guys down. Obviously, consistency is key, but at the end of the day, if you're seeing it, great. But um, what, 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 does everyone, what does everyone think in the comments? What, what day works for you guys for posting a YouTube video? I want to see what you guys think. Fridays at 8, says Berkshire Bays. Um, what does everyone think? Every day, no. <laughs> Any day, Monday, that's an interesting one. Uh, Friday or Saturday, yeah, I think Friday or Saturday is a shout. Maybe not Saturday, actually, because a lot of people are, will be out in future. Um, Friday, because you used to post YouTube videos on Friday. I mean, yeah, we could we could aim for Fridays. Um, obviously, this next one coming out won't be on Friday, but like, yeah, um, maybe Friday or Saturday. I think from the looks of what everyone's saying, but a couple people are saying Monday as well, and a few Tuesday. Tuesday's random. Um, Wednesday because it's my favorite day. It's Brian e. Lewis. Uh, Sunday at 7, says Talia Fraser. I would not like to compete with Sidemen Sundays, so I'm good. Um, not Friday. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll figure something out. FOMO time? Jesus, no, that's too early. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll find another question. Oh, this is a beefy one. Um, <laughs> so I actually, I mean, I don't have a favourite. I have, I have members that I warm to more. There's not one favourite because they're all lovely guys. Um, the ones I warm to more are definitely um, Jonah, Daniel, and my. His name is Corbin, isn't it? Yeah. Um, obviously, like we we don't we don't like know them that well. We're decent friends. We've met them a fair few times now. Um, yeah. So Jonah, Daniel, and Corbin. Am I making that name up? Is it that hot? Why do I feel like I'm making that name up? That is that is his name. Yeah, yeah. I'm so stupid. Why? Why did? I, why did I trick myself into thinking that wasn't his name? What's wrong with me? Um, but yeah, I mean, and obviously he's not a why don't we member, but yeah, Corbin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, but Evan, Evan is just so great. I, I love Evan. Um, <laughs> he's, he's probably yeah. He's such a cool guy. But um, the rest of them. Um, Daniel was, he's just like really nice to us. I think the first one that properly spoke to us was Jonah uh, when we f met them for the first time in New York. Um, so I've always liked Jonah. Um, Zach, I've not really spoken to much. Jack, I've spoken to a few times. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, and, and Corbin's such a nice guy as well. I actually think, so in my in my personal opinion, performance-wise, I think Corbin is the best. This might be a, um, I don't know if it's an unpopular opinion, I don't know what everyone thinks, but I think Corbin is just a really cool performer. That doesn't mean, like, he is better than the others, but, like, in my opinion, I think he's quite a good performer, sort of, like, 
very good movement, good voice, um, and like good energy on stage as well. And then Daniel's just like incredible with music. Um, I've even heard some of his uh, demos that he's made that he kindly showed. Um, find another question. Will there be the old intro for the YouTube video? You guys, you're gonna have to see. You're gonna have to look for when the YouTube video comes out. If it's there, it's there. If not, I don't, I don't know. Could be. Could be. Who knows? Uh, you'll you'll just you'll just have to find out. Um. most random thing in your room I mean could go for this box of shreddies but it's not that random because it's food um, trying to think most random thing in my room um, Probably my supreme umbrella. I'm not gonna get it out again. Oh yeah, all the swimming cap, the swimming cap as well. Um, I have this bottle of lemonade here for some reason. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I've got some pretty random things in my room. Um, I would, I would definitely love to do this. We should, we will brainstorm at some point. And figure out something to do i'm sure for you guys um as you know uh me and jack are very good friends so yeah we'll probably do something at some point um i did see him for the first time in months the other day very happy day um yeah it was really nice um to see mr duff uh, What's your opinion on Lisa and Lena? Lisa and Lena are possibly, and, and this is like, this is just, it, it, there's no sort of, they are the, because there's sometimes a language barrier between like people in Europe and people in the UK and people in the US. They are the nicest foreign people, pretty much alongside Marcus and Martinus that I know. They've literally always been so nice to me and Harvey. Like when we first met, um, we were getting along so well, talking all the time, uh, really good friends. Uh, I don't actually contact them as much as you, you may think. Um, yeah, we don't have many sort of ways of contact except from DMs, but um, it's really nice. It would be good to get back in touch with them and maybe even film some videos, because uh, I don't think we've really done that much except from like the first few times we met. So yeah, it'd be really cool to do that again. Um, they're great people. They're so positive. Like everything they do is extremely positive i've pretty much never seen a negative thing and even if it's like it they the, even if it is negative they're putting the negativity in a positive light so it's like it's still not negative it's like doing the best for the negative situation if you know what i mean they're just incredible how how do you say is it martinus or martinus i don't know marcus and Mar martinus Marcus and Martinez? I don't know. Ooh. Sorry, everyone. But yeah, Lisa and Lena are great. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Will you ever get your holiday to France? Well, all my French people, uh, whether we're going to see you or not, I will tell you that your boys are going to France on the 3rd of August. Uh, yeah, we're having a little little family holiday. All of it's um, safe and sorted. Uh, we're going on the Euro Tunnel, so we stay in our car the whole time. We're staying in like a private sort of house out in France. Um, so yeah, we've managed to sort that all out. Um, so yeah, France, we are coming to you. 
not really for any specific reasons, just for a holiday. But uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. I think we're going to get a bunch of content done. It might get. It might be sort of more because obviously we're not going to have our camera team with us, Tom and Dobby. Um, it might be a bit sort of like vloggy, like and it'll probably be on our phones as well. So it's not going to be the best quality, but we'll probably film a vlog to put on YouTube. Um, maybe even some other things for TikTok and this uh, new thing that I was talking about. Everyone get ready for because it's going to be huge, uh, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so... 3rd of August, we go going to France. Ah. Uh... Oh. Favorite The Office character. This is so hard. Who's my favorite? Who is my favorite? Probably Creed. Yeah, probably Creed, because of how random he is. Yeah. Like, it's a classic to say you like Michael, because Michael is just... I. The thing is, though, I don't think I like Michael for the reason everyone else does. I actually like Michael because of how incredible Steve Carell... How incredible Steve Carell's acting is to play that role. Because people will look at that role and go, Oh, he just has to be stupid. But to have that high-level intensity in a character for that long, it's like, that... That's hard. He did that for like, what, seven years? That It's a tough character to play. It's not easy. Like, I think, and, and not to offend anyone, I think John Krasinski had it the easiest because he was the most normal guy in the office. Whereas Steve Carell really, and Creed as well, but Creed obviously wasn't as in it as um, Michael was. So, yeah, it's it's a very good program, that. Do you like Peaky... Who doesn't like Peaky Blinders? That's literally, like, my favourite Netflix show. I can't wait for the fifth series to come out. I'm pretty sure it's the fifth that's meant to be coming out, if not the sixth. Pretty sure it's the fifth. Let me know if I'm wrong. But, um, yeah, no, I do love Peaky Blinders. Um, it's just, like, it's weird because a lot of people don't, but those people only watch the first episode, and I was the same. After the first episode, I was like, eh... It's not that great. Second episode, I sort of went, huh. And then the third episode, I was literally like, I am i can't not watch all of this. Like, I have to watch all of this. So, it's it, you have to watch the first three, and then you're in, and then it's like, it takes you from there, basically. So good. Again, don't watch it if you're under 15. I can't tell you what to do, obviously, but, like, it's just a recommendation. It's not ideal. Go for it if you're allowed to, but... I'm not recommending it to anyone under that age. Um, but, but, but. Give us a wholesome story time. A wholesome story time. I've got to try and think of something. A wholesome story time. Oh. I mean, this might be for YouTube, to be fair. This might be a recommendation for YouTube. I can't really think of one on the spot, I'm not going to lie. Um, <clears throat> Got to think, man. Unless you can't think of anything. I think it, it, I, I'm t too hot and tired. To literally... <gasps> oh, do you know what? I don't think we've ever told anyone this. Right, I'm going to do this one. And it was so, so long ago. Basically, um, we, years ago, I can't remember if we told anyone this, uh, like how it happened. Obviously, you guys will have seen the video, but there's a story behind it. So we were at Camp Festival years ago, like before we were even prop. I think we were performing on the Den stage this year and Jess Glynn was headlining. Um, and we managed to get sort of backstage into the artist area as she was, I think she was coming off stage, pretty sure she just finished. And we said to her, hey Jess, do you mind filming a singing video with us? Uh, you just sing one of your songs, we'll harmonise along to it. We did the video, she thought she was just going to be like, 
carrying these two random kids that couldn't really sing and, and we were like oh we'll we'll harmonize straight on top of this so we harmonized like pretty freaking well it was a, it was a good video she turned around to us and went you guys are effing insane and we were like ah uh, thank you to jess glenn we were just like thank you so much and then she t she took harvey's phone she actually took his phone that we filmed the video on into her dressing room we were like jess the f the f the phone and she just took her phone into her dressing room with like all her crew and like her family she was showing all of her crew and family this video and um we were just like really excited because jess was like showing us off to sort of her family and stuff um uh, yeah we were buzzing and she came back out with the phone and went can i have this i want to like repost it and stuff we were like yeah yeah repost it yeah and uh, i think she did on her like story or something and then i think uh we sort of got a picture as well said thanks started walking away and as we were walking like down the field her massive security guard like he was huge he started like jogging after us shouting boys we're like oh what have we done we thought we were in trouble like he was running at us shouting and he went jess wants to see you again we were like nice so we we went right back there and um jess literally as we got to her she was like to us um can you boys just sing for me again we were like yeah why not and um so she, we literally went and sat in this teepee that was like backstage and she sort of just sat down on this like couch with her phone now this was her phone now she was like filming us for herself basically um so she just like got her phone out was perched on the bench and was just like just just sing anything so i think i grabbed my guitar because i had it somewhere like in the campsite grabbed my guitar got it out and we literally just like played a mini set for jess glynn it was just her it was just us and her in the teepee and she was just filming us on her phone i don't know where that content's gone she has it i'm pretty sure we don't um but yeah and then after that again she thanked us um and we just left that was basically it it was it was very overwhelming because we were both like i think we were 12 when it happened maybe 13 um so yeah it was just insane probably 13 to be honest but yeah it was mad we we're probably overwhelmed and uh it was sick so yeah there's your wholesome story time it took me a second to think of it but yeah i don't know i don't know if you guys have been told that um did you guys like that um story time i don't i i don't know how i did but um I, i'm not sure how good at telling stories i am to be honest any anyone enjoy that was it okay i'm basically looking for validation <laughs> it's not great but you know i need to know because I, I don't really do stuff like that to be honest yeah it's pretty pretty positive feedback there's just gonna be a couple of people like no it sucked um <clears throat> i'm glad it was wholesome wholesome enough cool um all right looking for another question um what happened to dylan Dylan's still around. We, we still see Dylan frequently. It's just, um, obviously, he had his year 11 year, so for that time he was studying really hard, which is why we haven't seen him as much recently. And then now he wants... I mean, I don't know if you guys know, Dylan's frickin' smart. Like, the guy... The guy's a genius. He's so, so smart. Like, majoritively got nines in his GCSEs. Uh, and then, if, uh, like a few eights in his words i was like if i got any eights i'd be going mental about them you're just like tossing them away uh, he's insane but um yeah so he's uh, at the moment i'm pretty sure he's concentrating on a lot of like because obviously he's not in college yet but he's been set a lot of work by the college that he's going to so he's focusing on the college work obviously dylan has other friends as well so he hangs out with them uh we yeah we hung out with him the other day um i just don't think he turns up in the content as much but we'll, we'll get him in the content we'll we'll make sure you guys know that he's still there but yeah 
Dylan's still about. It's still happening. He's just obviously focusing on um, his life a bit more, which is fair enough, because, you know, he's got a pretty good one ahead of him. Uh, I say pretty good, very good. Um, but, yeah. Love a bit of Dylan. Um... What did you get in your GCSEs? As we're on the topic, um, nowhere near as intelligent. Oh, that proves it. That proves it right there. <laughs> nowhere near as intelligent as Dylan. Um, I did pass everything, thankfully. So I did not fail one thing. Um, can't say I passed with flying colours exactly. Um, I passed with colours. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, so I got, I think I got mostly fives, a couple of fours, a couple of sixes. That was about it. I was targeted, I was actually targeted a couple of nines, um, major, not majority of eights actually, a couple of eights and a, a majority of seven. So that's why I was targeted and then obviously I didn't go to school for about, well it's not that I didn't go to school. I caught up with all the work, which is what's important because obviously we, we put across this message during X Factor is it's so important to stay in school and just make sure you're not dropping school to carry on with something. Obviously, pursue what you want to pursue because I think that's the most important thing you can do. If you're passionate about something, make sure you make the time alongside school to pursue it, but then you do need to catch up with your schoolwork so you have something to fall back on. Because obviously, if I'd have focused on school completely, I would have hopefully gotten those nines, eights, and sevens. But I didn't focus on school completely. I focused on it enough, as well as focusing on what I wanted to do in my career, as well as Harvey. And luckily, we did about the same amount of focusing. He did a little bit better in school. But um, it was pretty similar. And um, luckily, we are where we are today because we pursued what we wanted to do. But pursuing what you want to do does not mean you have to go to school. You, you don't have to go to school. Let me think that through again. I said the wrong thing. Pursuing what you want to do doesn't mean you shouldn't go to school. That's what I wanted to say. Um, because at the end of the day, even if you feel like you're not learning something at school, you are. Like, you're learning how to socialise. You're literally learning daily skills that you wouldn't learn just sitting around at home or doing anything. Like, just like lounging around, basically. And I get that a lot of people have tough times in school, like loads of people go through bullying, school, it's proven that school increases bullying, it sucks, but actually, at the end of the day, even though the bullying sucks and you have to just push it past you, me and Harvey dealt with a load of it, but we actually never called it bullying because we didn't want to put what people were doing to us down to that level we didn't want to give them that satisfaction we just said that people were sort of making remarks at us rather than calling it bullying it happened every day like i'm not gonna lie it literally happened every single day like i couldn't go to school without someone shouting oh it's the musically kid or whatever it just happened but if you trust me a lot of people say don't push things down again you can talk about things but pushing them down literally it's not pushing them down it's pushing them away not letting them get into your head and letting you like overthink things basically you just want to think positively think how you're going to do in the future because at the end of the day your school life is such a short period of time that you're going to take all of this information and take into the real world and if you've looked at it from a mature perspective then you're already ahead of all those people that are using names like prick and knob and Oh, you're, and, and, and sort of using homophobic slurs towards you because you use an app. It's not okay, obviously, but you can't, at the end of the day, stop those people from saying it because that's how they've grown up and that's how they fit in. Um, and it's unfortunate because they'll learn when they grow up that they're not going to fit in carrying on doing that. They'll have those mates that are immature and that will laugh at their jokes when they're young, but they're not going to fit in when they're older because it doesn't work that way. People mature, people grow up, if they don't grow up, they're screwed, basically, in life. Uh, and you don't want to be one of those people. Um, I, I'm sorry for you if you are one of those people, but I, I'm pretty damn sure that not one of these people watching this live is one of those people because you're all here at almost one in the morning to watch this knob basically play the piano for you and, and answer random questions. 
But yeah, just everyone make sure you think positively. Um, stay in school, but also pursue your dreams. Don't let schools push you around as well, because I know that some do, and, and a lot of them tell you that you're not going to make it in what you want to do. That, I think, is the one thing I think about schools that do suck, if they have bad teachers. Because school is important, but there are there are times where there are bad teachers you have to you're gonna have to sort of maneuver your way around them and we did have a fair few of them obviously we maneuvered around them and made things work basically which um you're gonna have to do but again that's a life lesson that you learn from school maneuvering around things so it, it all adds up and it all works basically moving on i kind of need to fill up my water bowl Yeah, don't tell anyone, don't let anyone, don't tell anyone, don't let anyone tell you, you can't do what you want to do. You can, you can literally, I know, I know how many people say this, but they, they say it so seriously it sounds fake. You can actually do whatever you want to do. Like, genuinely, who is stopping you? No one. Like, unless it's illegal, unless you've, like, you're doing something completely stupid, which nothing is stupid unless you're breaking the law then no one can stop you and and you just sort of need to pursue that in the most mature safe way possible basically um and and you'll get wherever you want to go it doesn't have to be in the entertainment industry that's what i wanted to do that's what i wanted to pursue a lot of people want to go into the sports industry a lot of people want to go into science maths english whatever you just sort of have to network in the right way and really look at the world from a bigger perspective not just I'm stuck in my house, I can't do anything, I can't really do anything for myself, kind of thing. But yeah. Like, I, I could have looked at a piano and gone, screw that, I don't know how to play the piano, why would I try and do that? I didn't, I, I could have got a teacher, I didn't, I actually wanted to do it myself, I literally could not have played even a chord like that, about a year ago and then I sort of started I started like pressing a few keys when I was around the keyboard I went oh this isn't too bad I, I reckon I could figure this out and now I'm starting to sort of learn like full songs on the piano and I was like geez it took me like a year to learn how to do full songs on the guitar and it took me like six months how to do it on the piano so as soon as you've got like the base of stuff you can do a lot more it's just about like building up your character and building up your knowledge of things basically um but yeah also uh one of the things i did want to say is i'm extremely proud of everyone who has sort of used their lockdown and quarantine to the best of their ability um to sort of benefit with new skills uh learn new things um do just do new things in general whether you like them or not you you can learn so much from things messing up Obviously, at the time, it's frustrating, but, like, I can't tell you the amount of things I've made in Logic that have just made me want to throw the Mac out the window because it just hasn't worked. But, like, you have to go through trial and erroring things and learning what you can do at that point in time and what you can't do, basically. I love how this is all spiralled from what did you get in your GCSEs. I feel like I went on a full-on rant. But, yeah, good job to everyone that's done stuff in quarantine. Um... Yeah. Let's find another question. Uh, I'm going to scroll to the top. Hang on. Um, ooh, this is a good one from Izzy, um, Basic Mills. What does the word influencer mean to you? Um, so, there's a lot, I think, so what, what I want to say first is Harvey and I don't actually really identify directly as influencers. I think we come under the category naturally um, but we don't identify as influencers. Um, I think we mainly identify as like, sort of artists. Um, but, uh, and, and then there's sort of, I think 
it's, it's the wrong word to use because it's so broad, but entertainers in this industry as well, uh, because that's what we love doing. Um, but the word influencer, um, I think mainly what it, what it would come from is sort of a, a high up government position. An influencer is someone that can, obviously, using the word, influence people to do things, to say things, to believe things, um, to think things, um, to like things, to hate things, literally anything. And if that person, I think an influencer, people look up to influencers, and influencers have a lot of, um, what's the word, uh, they have a lot of pressure to say and do the right things, and uh, there's a lot of them that are extremely passionate about things, um, and a lot of the passions are wrong, um, and a lot of the passions aren't wrong, um, and a lot of people disagree with certain things, and I think as the world develops, we learn what is right um, and what is wrong. Um, I think I'm very aware of what's right and what's wrong, um, and I know I, I don't want to get too into it. I know there were a few um, allegations towards me of my beliefs. I just want to say, putting it out there, I am in no support to any government in the US right now. I was not supporting anything, um, but we won't go into that because I, I don't think any government it, uh, is doing anything um, correct at the moment. And obviously it's hard with coronavirus going on um, because it's such a tough uh, thing to do. But I, I don't want anyone to think that I was on the wrong side uh, in a certain podcast because I really wasn't. I was, I was saying something different and because I said... I, I, I'll own up to it. I, I, I think I said I misplaced a word and it completely flipped the sentence into something I didn't want it to be. And I get that you guys got angry because it looked like something completely different to what I was saying. Um, so I just wanted to clear that up for you guys because I know that you guys watching now are sort of the main core that watch everything, like know everything and get involved with everything. So I just wanted to clear that up for you guys. Um, but yeah, no, that's completely not what I meant. Uh, didn't mean to offend anyone. Um, and I, I do apologise for that. Um, but yeah, so I, I think an influencer basically has a lot of um, pressure to do the right thing, um, to say the right things at all, at all times. And that, it, it's a hard thing to do, to say the right things all the time. It, it's hard because there's a lot of things that come out that you go instantly, crap, shouldn't have said that. Why did that come out? But it's sort of it's 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 your brain overthinking everything and then you're going man i should have thought about that before it came out but a lot of people don't do that most people don't do that and it, it's it's an easy thing to do to say what you're thinking there and then um but yeah i think um all influencers really need to think about what they're posting what effect it can have on young viewers which is why Harvey and I do try to keep things as PG as possible. Obviously, when we grow up, they'll they'll become less PG naturally because we'll be adults. Um, but we're not going to go and like be offensive and. I hate to do this, but make an OnlyFans. I don't get that really. That's people's career. They can do that. Um, <laughs> sorry, ignore that I said that. Again, I should have thought about that before I said it. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's. It's just things like that that people really need to think what young people are seeing on social media and what platforms things need to be on. Like if you're if you're on a TV network, for instance, that has constant like sort of rude references and all that kind of stuff, then that's all right because there's only going to be an older audience watching those programs. But if you're on kids TV, you can't have a social media platform where you're posting half naked pictures, you're swearing constantly you're saying controversial things being an influencer has that um pressure that you you have to you have to keep it back a little bit and there is there is the full sense of of being real you have to be real as well but you can be real without being offensive and without being negative um well no, maybe not not negative but you get what i mean you you can put it in a positive light basically 
Um, but yeah, I I think <laughs> going off on a tangent. That's what the word influencer means to me. It's just it, there's a lot of pressure to be one, and you you really have to think about what you're going to say. Um, cool. We're get we're getting we're getting some bangers in here. Might as well get them all out. Opinions on a uh, cancel culture. Um, I don't want to say the wrong thing here because at the end of the day, you guys have got to realise I don't know everything. I know you all pretty much realise that anyway. But just to clear things up, I I literally don't I, even like even if it's about one subject, I don't know everything about social media. I don't know everything about music. I don't know everything about the guitar. I don't know everything about my room i literally don't know everything about my room um so that before i comment on this subject this is this is like what i see if you guys think there's something wrong let me know and i'll i'll completely like go yeah i agree with you like you're completely right um i think cancel culture isn't wrong but it can be harsh because a lot of the time, so for, for certain people, for certain people, it's, it, 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 should, it should happen if someone has genuinely, genuinely, genuinely done something wrong. Like, if someone is proven, there's pictures, there's videos, there's everything saying that they did it, then yes. I think it's what people really deserve because they've not thought about their actions and they've not thought about what they're doing. Yes, but I think it is harsh when people jump the gun for a joke because a lot of people cancel because it's funny. And I know that for a lot of people in that scenario, it's not funny, but then there are those other people that do find it funny. And that, that happened with the James Charles thing. Not going to comment on it because I wasn't involved. But literally, the, the only reason he lost the amount of subscribers he did was because it turned into a joke. And I, I actually, I, I didn't feel bad for him, but I felt bad for his career that people were making it a joke to unsubscribe from him. Um, but I, and I, I don't know what's resurfaced because I've seen a few things about it. Um... But like I, I, it, he probably needs to deal with some stuff. Um, what's 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 peaches? Cancel peaches. Can anyone just can anyone explain what that is? Huh? But yeah, I mean, put it into perspective. I met James and. Um, he was nothing but nice to me the first time. He didn't come across weird. Um, he was on that Zoom call that I was uh, on um, with... Um, what is this peach thing? I'm so confused. Peaches is a long story. I feel like we can't get into peaches who bullies charlie well no one should be bullying charlie she's like i i so i don't know charlie don't get me wrong i've spoken to addison through a live stream like once um but i know because our management has worked with charlie's parents um and i trust everything they say according to them charlie's like the sweetest girl on the planet i believe them completely haven't spoken to her once so i wouldn't know directly but i've seen nothing but niceties from charlie she's in my eyes, never messed up. She's never slipped up. Um, she's great. No one should bully her. I don't. I genuinely don't think. I think it would be wrong to. Um, she's got such a nice aura about her, and she's what social media should be, basically. I do think it's insane how big she's got. I just can't fathom it personally. Like I'm kind of sat there thinking. I mean, she's good, but like, that's a lot of followers. Like that's a damn lot of followers. Like Jesus. Again, not slating. Congrats to her, but that's a that's a lot of followers, isn't it? Don't get it like. Um, but yeah, no, she's doing great, and so is like. I think most of the people in there are. And actually, I really, I, I, I love that like Taylor's mixed in with all of them as well, Taylor Holder, because we used to be great friends with him. I think we still are. Like we still talk to him over social media sometimes, uh, and hopefully we'll meet up with him soon. But um, yeah, no, all of them are great. 
but um, yeah, I really don't know what this peach is. You like get rid of her? Just yeah, just cancel her as 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 because she clearly deserves it. Like bullies, people who are directly and obviously bullying people. Yes, that's where cancel culture should fully kick in. Um, I unfortunately don't know enough to comment on it because I don't even know who the hell she is or he or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, um, cancel culture can be harsh if, if you don't have all the information on the topic and people are just jumping on the sort of conga line or, or whatever you want to, or however you want to put it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm being told in the comments that Peaches is a horrible person. I, I believe you guys. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to be like, hey guys, back off. I, I believe you. Like, <laughs> she, I'm, I'm, I'm sure she is. Um, I'm, I, I actually, I unfortunately don't know what she's done. I will probably, um, I will look it up after. So don't worry, I will go on social media and look up what she does after so I'm informed. But I actually, I don't know. So I apologise for not knowing everyone. But I will search her up after and will make sure I'm on your guys' side for it. I will stick by you guys for this one. Um, I believe you. Uh, yeah. I think cancel culture shouldn't be something that everyone looks to do all the time. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be careful when um, commenting about her. Oh god, that's not good. Yeah, that's awful. She sounds terrible. Oh dear. I'm on your guy's side for this one. Jesus Christ. Whew. That is not a good person. Yeah, I'm getting myself prepared for this one. You guys have taught me another side of social media on this side. I think I see the positive side of social media, I'm not going to lie. I think my... Because obviously social media looks at what you like and shows you more of what you like. I think she somehow bypassed it then, clearly. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Whew. Yeah. I'd rather not talk about her, seeing all these things. Wham. Okay. Um, we will end with a, with a few songs to sort of end on a more positive note. Um, I'm glad we got to talk about all the serious stuff. I will inform myself on all the stuff you guys have told me to, because I really need to. And um, make sure I know what is going on in the social media world but yeah if anyone wants to comment some songs so we can end on a more positive note uh yeah let's do that they say the price of my love's not a price they're joining to pay insane cheat with the French, now I'm fighting with France and with Spain. So sad. I mess up words. Remember we made an arrangement when you went away. Now you're making me mad. Remember, despite our estrangement, I'm your man. You'll be back soon, you'll see. You'll remember you belong to me. You'll be back. Time will tell You'll remember that I served you well Oceans rise, empires fall It's much hard, harder when it's all your call All alone, across the sea When your people say they hate you Don't come crawling back to me When it's all over when I'm wiser and I'm older All this time I was finding myself and I Didn't know I was lost So wake me up when it's all over When I'm wiser and I'm older 
All this time I was finding myself And I didn't know I was lost You leave this world behind So live a life you will remember My father told me when I was just a child These are the nights that never die My father told me My father told me Yeah, yeah Time. I stay for a long time Cause I like me better when I like me better when I'm here I've been locked out of heaven for too long, for too long. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Feel like I would never try again, but when I saw you, I felt something I never felt. Come closer, I'll give you. If you treat me right, baby, I'll yeah, give The city's gonna break my heart The city's gonna love me, leave me alone The city's got me chasing stars It's been a couple months since I felt like a moan Am I getting closer to knowing where I belong? The city's gonna break my heart She's only gonna break Yeah. Love my friend 
instant death, but I'll never go and I'll never take so. La di da di da, you get what you give and you give what you get. So pardon loneliness, we love to get high, but we don't know how to come down, 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 down. We don't know how to come down, 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 down. I have these lucid dreams. Thinking of you in my head You were my everything Thoughts of a wedding ring Now I'm just better off dead Do it over again I didn't want it to end I watch it blow in the wind I should have listened to my friend Did it in the past But I wanted to last You were made out of plastic Fake I was dead up in a drastic waste Watch me bleed until I can't breathe Shaking, falling onto my knees And now that I'm without your kisses I'll be needing stitches Dripping over myself Aching, begging you to come out And now that I'm without your kisses I'll be needing stitches Bleed until I can't breathe Shaking, falling onto my knees And now that Thanks for watching everyone, um, uh, yeah, cheers for sticking around, uh, there's a lot here actually, um, I appreciate you all, love you all, um, can't wait to hopefully see you soon, make sure you're staying safe, obviously I think a bit of quarantine in the UK just got postponed, uh, hopefully there's no second wave, but we've got to make sure we're all staying safe, so obviously only go out if it's essential, if it's work, which is why you'll see me and Harvey going out a little bit more. We are working to sort of keep entertainment going, um, to keep morale going, all that kind of stuff. Um, it may look like leisure, and a lot of it is because we love doing our job, but we are working um, to benefit everyone. So make sure uh, you're staying positive, uh, staying safe, and do still get outside because, you know, you need fresh air. So why not? In a bit, fellas. You're not, you're not fellas, it's ladies, basically. Uh, what a weird guy.